Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty, and this is episode 23, I think. 22, 23, something like that. Of the Battleship Brawl Season 3 Tournament. This episode, we've got a League Battle Day going on between the... Yumera, or the Yumera, as I'm going to call it, because I can't pronounce all of those consonants. Uh, going up against the CS7 Mark 8 by Slain. Oh, the Yumera's by Snakehead 101 as well. Um... The Yumera is in a bit of a pickle here. It is at one life, so if it loses this battle, it will be eliminated and retired from the tournament. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what's going to happen here. The Yumera has some uh, serious stability problems and failsafe issues. We'll uh, see if it can overcome those and win this battle, or if it's, uh, if it's just done. CS7 Mark 8 is quite the tough competitor. Ooh, and it just landed some good hits. That had to have taken out a gun or two. Oh, it's it, it, yeah, two, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, and a third one just ate a shot to the face, and it is uh, pretty much disabled. Oh, and now the Yamera is doing that uh, thing where its lower, its rear end is sinking, and that's propelling it upward. And collision. Ooh, that actually did a lot of damage to the CS7 Mark VIII. That ripped off a whole lot of blocks off the side of the thing. But it doesn't look like it actually uh, got in it. Oh, that was a big explosion. That was a big hit. But the uh, the armor protected the guns. Mare's landing some more hits, but uh, the guns are staying protected on the CS7 market. I don't think it's lost a single one. Oh, no, it's got one damaged one there. But the Yamera is actually, oh, it looks like it's actually gone dead in the water. And it is badly damaged, 61% getting slammed on now that it uh, has no way to dodge shells or be evasive in any form. Oh, and another turret takes is taken down. And that is going to be it. The Yamera is too damaged and going to despawn. So, there we go. That is it. So, uh, congratulations to Slain. Your CS7 Mark VIII has claimed another victory and is one step closer to the Hall of Champions. Uh, my condolences to Snakehead101. Your Yamera is a very interesting ship with lots of firepower, very quick and maneuverable, but uh, that instability cost it two matches. And uh, it was also kind of lightly armored, and it uh, paid the price for that against the CS7. But let's go ahead and I've got to switch back to Neater real quick here. Because if I don't do this, then the warping function of the designer doesn't work. I'm going to... There we go. Load in the mirror so we can take a look at it here and uh, so people can decide whether they want to vote for it to be inducted into the Hall of Beauty. Because, uh, yep, the Yumera is being retired. This is the retirement video for it. It is no longer competing in the tournament. And these quintuple barrel turrets are... Like, they put a lot of firepower on target when they land. Uh, but they have very little armor. As you can see, it's like two meter thick metal at most. That has absolutely no chance of stopping a cram of any type. Even a high explosive would punch through that pretty easily. Unless it was maybe a small caliber one wouldn't get through, but yeah. Lots of propellers on the back. That's how it gets all its speed. <laughs> but yeah. It's a, de it's a nice looking ship. It's... Uh, I like it. Uh, it's not my, my favorite by any means. Uh, it's very form over function. But it, 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 at least it's not a brick, right? There's some aesthetics in here. It's it's a nice looking ship. But yeah, anyway. 
That'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the battlefield.